Hi, I'm Phil from the Soundproofing Store, and today we're going to talk through the Soundproofing Store's top three floor soundproofing solutions for timber joist floors. It's always important to explain that soundproofing is not a one-size-fits-all solution. Everyone's situation is different. Every property is different. Every noise problem is different. So to get the best noise reduction, you need a solution that is suitable for your noise issue, and also one that is most suited to your final floor finish. So the purpose of this video is to talk you through our three most popular solutions and explain the differences and help narrow down which system is best for different situations. Before we talk through the solutions, we first need at least a basic understanding of the science behind soundproofing so that we can understand why and how the solutions work. To get the best results when soundproofing a floor, we need to achieve three main objectives. The first is to increase the mass of the floor. Now mass is basically weight and density. An airborne sound is blocked by mass. So for example, 300 millimeters of concrete is going to naturally block a lot more sound than 10 millimeters of timber because it has many, many times more mass. Secondly, we need to add a layer onto the floor that adds cushioning so that when impact such as footsteps or dragging furniture occurs, this impact is cushioned and absorbed, creating less vibration in the floor. Without this, that vibration can easily spread through the structure to the room below. The distinction between airborne and impact noise, especially in relation to timber floors, isn't quite as black and white as having two separate types of noise. Often, even though the cause of your noise problem might be an impact, what you're actually hearing is an airborne noise. Now, for example, if I was to clap my hands together really hard, that vibration that I feel traveling up my arms is the impact vibration. And that's the same as the vibration that travels from the floorboards down through the joists and into the ceiling below. But what your ears hear when you clap your hands is the airborne sound wave that travels from your hands through the air and to your ears. Now this means that to get the best results for impact reduction, you also want to reduce as much airborne sound as you can, as well as cushioning the actual impact itself. The third objective is to stop any sound from amplifying within the sealed chamber between the floor and the ceiling void. This is done by adding acoustic mineral wool between the joists. Now here's a little example. These are representing our floorboards, our timber joists, and in between we've got the cavity, which we've filled with acoustic mineral wool. So bearing these principles in mind, our highest performing solution against both impact and airborne noise, and especially suited for soft floor final finishes, such as carpet, is our SoundMat 3 Plus floor solution. The SoundMat 3 Plus is simply loose laid on top of the existing floor. It's made up of three layers and is only 15 millimeters thick. The top and the bottom layer is a three millimeter mass loaded vinyl which adds 16 kilograms per meter square of extra mass and density to the floor. And it's that mass that creates a barrier across the floor to block airborne sound. Now, in between the mass loaded vinyl layer is a nine millimeter thick closed cell foam, which compresses underfoot enough to cushion the footfall and absorb that impact noise while supporting the weight without crushing. Now, closed cell foam also gives us a much more consistent performance throughout the floor, as opposed to chip foams used in other floor solutions, which are much more inconsistent. Closed cell foam also doesn't absorb water like chip foam, which means it's more suitable for domestic use where spillages and water leaks could be a consideration. It's a proven system against both impact and airborne noise. It's thin, very simple to install, and this makes it a hugely popular choice for use in domestic homes, 
particularly for people living in flats or apartments with noise between neighbours above and below. It's also regularly used within detached houses, separating, for example, any unwanted noise between uh, bedrooms above and living spaces below, and vice versa. Samad 3 Plus is ideal for reducing unwanted household noise levels, such as footfall on the floor, TV noise, and general conversation airborne noise. If you're struggling with more excessive volumes, then you may need to upgrade to an even higher performing system, which we'll come to later in this video. Soundmat 3 Plus is an extremely popular solution for carpet final floor finishes, as it also acts as a luxury carpet underlay. Carpet can be installed directly on top, which helps to reduce costs and keeps the final floor height to a minimum. Soundmat 3 Plus can also be used by developers needing to meet party building regulations. So what happens if your final floor finish is a hard floor finish and not carpet? Well, this leads us nicely into our second solution, which is our Reverso Sound Mat. The Reverso Sound Mat has the same soundproofing capabilities as the Sound Mat 3 Plus, performing well against both impact and airborne noise. But uniquely, one of the mass-loaded vinyl layers has been replaced with a very stable six millimeter cement fiber board. And this means that where hard floor finishes, such as laminates, engineered wood, and tiles are needed, it's a perfect because of the built-in stabilizing layer. The Reverso sound mat is 18 mil thick and adds 17 and a half kilograms per meter squared, as the mass loaded vinyl and the cement board layer are very, very heavy and very dense again adding lots more mass to the floor to help block airborne noise. The product was developed this way because in the past, soundproofing mats such as our Soundmat 3 Plus, which is perfect for carpets, had too much flex to install finishes like laminates directly on top. So after installing the Soundmat 3 Plus, you then need to install a minimum six millimeter plywood or MDF over the top to make the floor more stable and then install your hard floor finish over the top. Now with the Reverso sound mat, we built that stabilizing layer into the product using the six mil cement board, which saves you height, installation time, energy, and money. Similar to the sound mat 3 plus, the Reverso sound mat is very popular for domestic homes with timber joist floors, the Reverso sound mat is relatively thin and simple to install, which makes it perfect for retrofitting in existing homes. Floor separating neighbors in flats and apartments or floor separating living spaces from bedrooms in houses. The Reverso sound mat is beneficial in all these types of situations as the Reverso sound mat is ideal for household level noise and reduces both airborne and impact noise. It's also a great choice for projects where multiple rooms are being soundproofed with multiple different floor finishes. So rather than having different soundproofing solutions in different rooms, or having to have overlay boards in some rooms, but not in others, instead you use the same product in every room, but have it hard side up for your hard floor finishes and soft side up for your carpet finishes. And this gives you an even floor height in every room, which makes it a great product for developers and contractors. The third and final solution we're going to talk about today is our SoundScreed 28. SoundScreed 28 is an overlay board, which is used to reduce even higher levels of airborne sound than the SoundMat 3 Plus or the Reverso SoundMat. This is because SoundScreed 28 is even heavier and adds even more mass at 22 kilograms per meter square. Now the wood fiber layer at the bottom also adds some cushioning to the floor to help with low levels of impact vibration, although SoundScreed 28 doesn't perform as well at reducing impact vibration as SoundMat 3 Plus or the Reverso SoundMat. SoundScreed 28 is 28 mil thick. The top layer is an 18 millimeter dry screed gypsum and the wood fiber layer is another 10 millimeters. 
the boards have an overlap join on all four sides for very easy installation without any gaps. And as you can see, the closely joined overlap makes it even more airtight with only a tiny seam making it even more effective at blocking airborne sound. So in what situations is SoundScreed 28 most commonly used? Well, because SoundScreed 28 is extremely versatile, it can be used in any situation where high levels of airborne noise need to be reduced. This can range from domestic properties to commercial spaces like shops, offices, and even music studios. It's also a great product for new builds, conversions, and refurbishments, and is an excellent choice for tradespeople and specifiers, as it's also suitable for party building regulations when used as part of a full system. And it's quick and easy to install. A big benefit of SoundScreed 28 is that it provides a strong and stable base, so any floor finish can be installed on top, including carpet, laminate, engineered wood, tiles, and even LVT. So to conclude, these are three popular options from our range of solutions to cover different budgets, floor heights, noise types, and final floor finishes. It's important to use a system that is suitable for your specific noise problem to really have the greatest chance of solving that problem. But if you're unsure of what solution is best for your specific situation, then the best thing to do is speak to an expert. So please give us a call and speak to one of our trained and technical advisors. You can also find more info on our website at soundproofingstore.co.uk. And if you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more of our soundproofing content, then give this video a like and subscribe to the Soundproofing Store channel.